In this video, we're going to explore the process of creating morph targets in 3D Coat, and we're going to do so utilizing the advanced sculpting tools in 3D Coat's Sculpt workspace. In the process, we're also going to make use of the kit bashing tool set in order to store our morph targets in. So I've got a high poly sculpt version, and I also have a low polygon retopo mesh. Now, if you're coming from outside of 3D Coat, you can import your low polygon mesh here into the retopo workspace using the import tool, or you could go to the retopo menu and click import. Then, if you want to sculpt on that model, you would go to the object section of the tool panel, click on import. At the bottom of the tool options panel, you would click pick from Retopo. It's going to bring an exact copy of what you have in the Retopo workspace. So you would utilize this as your high polygon version. If you want to bring it in as a surface mode object only, you would click import without voxelization. And then when you're ready to commit it to a layer, you click apply. In this case, I'm already set up. I just want to go ahead and get started by creating a project folder in my models palette here in the Sculpt workspace. So I'll do that by going to the little toggle in the upper right hand corner. I'll select new folder. Let's try to name it morph underscore high poly. And so now we have a blank project folder. I'm going to double click on this layer and name it Neutral Pose. Now with that done, I'm going to go to the right side of the layer and you can see the little move icon. You just click that little move icon and drag it into the models palette. You'll get a decimation dialog that allows you to basically optimize the model before you store it in the models palette. It's at 50% by default, but you can scrub that to change the value here. Okay, and so I see a thumbnail was created for it, but I have one small problem. The head is facing in the wrong direction, and I cannot see what type of expression is created. So what do we do about that? Well, 3D Coat has a hidden camera that's by default looking straight down the z-axis toward the positive end. That means I need to rotate this character's head 180 degrees so it's facing toward the camera. And I can do that for both the high poly version here in the sculpt environment and the low polygon version that's in the Retopo workspace all at the same time. I will do that through the adjust section of the tool panel. I'll click on transform and I have conform retopo mesh checked here in the toolbar and this allows me to see the retopo mesh in the same workspace. 3D Coat will try to conform the low polygon version to the high polygon version whenever you make transforms with the transform tool, the move tool, or the pose tool. The reason why it only works with these three is because they are large scale editing tools. Let me go ahead and rotate now along the Y axis 180 degrees. My object is now facing toward the camera. So I can step out into another tool and this time I'm going to drag and drop one more time. Okay, and we see the new thumbnail created for it, and it is oriented in the right direction. So I can right click on the one I created beforehand and delete it. Now we're good to go. In the Retopo workspace, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to create a projects folder in the Retopo models palette. Add a new folder. Morph. Low. 
Home Link. I'll double click on this layer and name it again Neutral Pose. I can do the very same thing. Just go to the right hand side of the layer, drag and drop right into the Retapple Models palette. Okay. So let's now go back to the Sculpt workspace. This allows us to access this neutral pose quickly for all subsequent visemes or phonemes. And what I'll do now is go to the adjust section, choose the move tool, and with conform retopple mesh checked, I can go ahead and create a new morph target for a smile. And I'm going to rename this layer accordingly. I'll turn symmetry on. I can hide the plane while still leaving symmetry active. So now I can drag and drop this into the models palette as well. So we can see our model here. If I hover over the thumbnail, I can see that it adopted the name of the layer. I want to check conform retopo mesh for the moment. And I'll do the same thing here. Double click and I'll name this layer smile. Drag it into retopo models palette. I can go ahead and delete that layer and I'll just create a new blank layer. Delete this one. Okay. Let's step back into the Sculpt workspace. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this surface mode or voxel object. It's going to keep the layer intact, but I want to click on the neutral pose. And we hit apply. I'll double click and I'm going to name it Frown. Go in the Retopo workspace, click on the neutral pose one more time, hit enter, no. Double click, name this Frown. Step into the Sculpt workspace. Choose the Move tool again, Conform Retopo Mesh. And let's say we wanted to use our brush to make a few small edits. We can do that as well. Um, but first, just tweak that just a smidge and we will step out into another brush. So let's say, we'll just kind of build this area up a bit. And even if we want, we can add some wrinkle lines here with a pinch brush.
So I'm going to go to the very top of workspace and just hit snap. And so that's easy enough to tweak. And now I'll drag the frown layer into the retopo models palette and you can see the changes. Same thing in this sculpt room. We can just continue doing this and if you want you can with your color palette you can choose the image picker select images if you want to use them as references that way you have them right here in your viewport and then when you're ready to export them you can export them one by one or I just want to point out where they are stored in 3D Coat is in your documents directory 3D Coat under Vox Stamps you have the objects folder which is your models palette that exists in the sculpt workspace and then the retopo models palette so if I double click on that you can see that that subdirectory that I created is located here and I can see the thumbnails so you can access them here to bring them into your 3D application or you do have the option if you want to instead of deleting the layers just hide them and then you have the option in the Retopo menu to export separate Retopo objects. This will export each layer as a separate OBJ file. So yeah, that's how you would create morph targets inside 3D Coat using the kit bashing tool set and the advanced sculpt tools in the Sculpt Workspace. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.